Now if there's one name you're all going to recognise over in the UK, it's going to be Tanfield. Both Harry and his brother Charlie have absolutely dominated the sport over the last 12 months. Now not only on the, on the road, but also on the track as well, with Charlie being a world champion to boot. Now while Harry may have moved on to Katusha, his brother Charlie remains a Canyon DHB and this is his bike that we're looking at right now. Now Canyon DHB actually have both models, the Aero and the Ultimate at the disposal. Most riders though are choosing to go for the Aero for the fact that it's a very light bike anyway, it's stiff, it's comfortable and it's incredibly aerodynamic. Now most races don't tend to end in a summit finish so for the racing that Canyon are going to be doing it's the best all-round bike on the market for them. Now one of the biggest talking points last year at the Tour of Yorkshire when Harry Tamfield punched the air at the end of stage one was not just the fact that he won the bike race but the fact that he won the bike race on Altegra no less. Now I think that was a really nice story how a smaller team with a smaller budget riding equipment not quite as good as the best World Tour teams could still trump them on race day. Now this year though, they've actually upgraded. They've gone for a mix of Altegra and Dura Ace. Now they're running Altegra's DI2 version, the R8050, mostly throughout, except for the fact they've swapped the brakes out for Dura Ace for better braking. Safety is important after all. And they've got a Dura Ace Stages power meter. This is the newest power meter from Stages. It's dual sided, so it will give you an independent reading on both your legs. Now Charlie uses 170mm cranks, which I think is a really interesting thing. The guy is well over six foot, but it's becoming a bit of a, a trend in professional cycling now with people going to shorter cranks to be able to get over the bottom bracket and produce more power as a result. So if the pros are doing it, you guys could take note from that as well. Now another big talking point for any bike is the wheel set. In Canyon DHB, they're sponsored by British brand Hunt Bike Wheels and Charlie is running the 50mm version tubeless ready. Now for an incredibly deep dish rim, the wheel set comes in at just 1537 grams, offering great responsiveness on the climbs as well as top line speed on the flat. Now running on these Hunt wheels are Maxxis High Road 25mm tubeless ready tyres. Super fast, super grippy and super durable. Great for any pro team. Now, as I've seen the last two days, the Canyon DHB riders are going incredibly well and putting out huge amounts of power. Now, this year they're running Wahoo Element Bolts and they've got this really cool mount from Canyon. It's a specific mount to fit their Wahoo computer in front of their bike to keep it as aerodynamic as possible. Now, with the Aero being so popular, Canyon actually released a new version of it this year, the SL a slightly more affordable version of its more expensive older brother, the SLX, like Charlie is riding right here. Now, aero bikes traditionally are far heavier than your normal round tubed climbing frame. However, this one from Canyon actually tips the scales at just under a kilo. Now that is staggering for an aero frame. It's actually stiffer than the SL, understandably, it's the slightly more expensive older brother. Now another thing Hunt pride themselves on are their free hubs, offering incredible efficiency when it comes to power transfer. So the actuation of the free hub body is instant, with a three pore three ratchet system offering incredible acceleration. Now one thing I absolutely love about this Air Road is the fact that you can change the length of its wheelbase. Now there's not many bikes out there that you can actually do that with. I mean, you can change it depending on the sort of riding you're doing. So if you're looking for stability and control in descent or sprinting, then you can opt to have a longer wheelbase. Alternatively, if you're climbing and you're after a responsive ride and you want a shorter wheelbase, equally you can do that too. But how do you do it? What's gonna happen is we're gonna take out this front wheel and you're gonna see there's a little shim there. It's a reversible shim and it will change the wheelbase by about three or four millimeters. Now when it comes to high precision equipment, I mean this attention to detail is something not often seen before in cycling. Now if there's one thing which is specific to pretty much every rider, it's going to be the saddle. Now it's incredibly important to get your saddle right to avoid getting injury and avoid getting saddle sores. And Charlie uses this Physique Antares 
double zero saddle. It's a full one piece carbon design, carbon rails with minimal padding to optimize low weight. Now with Charlie being a particularly tall rider, it's not surprising that he actually runs one of the highest saddle heights in the team at 81.5 centimeters. From the tip of his saddle to his bar is 65 centimeters and his reach is 78. Now obviously other than the fact that this is a real high performance frame, I mean something that we all love is we love a striking paint job and that's exactly what Canyon DHB have got here. So Canyon have taken all of their frames, not an off the shelf stock frame, they've given them a custom paint job this year in this beautiful striking blue. So it's a two tone blue, you've got navy blue here going into a light blue, progressing into black at the back, so it's kind of stealthy yet bright at the same time and it's gonna stand out in the bunch like there's no tomorrow. Now like on the majority of Canyons, whether that be the Ultimate or the Aero like we've got here, Canyon puts its one piece bar and stem set up on it. Now this doesn't only increase the stiffness and the rigidity, but it also helps reduce weight and improve aerodynamics. On this particular bike of Charlie's, he's running a 130 millimeter stem. It's a 41 centimeter wide bar center to center with 70 mils of reach and 128 mils of drop. Now aerodynamics, Everybody loves free speed, but how much is this going to help you? Now in comparison to a normal bar and stem, this will actually save you five and a half watts. Now when you think about how hard it is to improve your threshold, when you've got three watts like this, I mean who's not going to take it? So while we've just been talking about aerodynamics on the bar and stem, we've better also have a look at the frame because they've got a really radical tube profile. They call it the Trident 2.0 and it's lent from their time trial bike, the Speedmax. So anything coming from the Speedmax on the road bike, it's only gonna be a very good thing for your road racing. Now for a pro team, having a number holder is of absolute high importance. And Canyon DHB don't spare any expense in this department. They're actually running a carbon fiber holder to maximize efficiency and reduce weight. Now if you enjoyed this video of Charlie's sick 2019 race bike, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe and turn notifications on for lots of cool content coming soon. Have a good one and I'll see you guys soon.